Today, we're diving into a story that's lighting up the internet and sparking heated debates across social media. Former First Lady Michelle Obama, a beloved figure in American politics, is facing backlash for comments she made about taking more than you need, comments that have some people questioning her own wealth and lifestyle. Is this a case of hypocrisy, or is there more to the story? Stick around as we break down the controversy, examine both sides of the argument, and explore how this might impact Michelle Obama's public image. So, let's set the stage. Recently, Michelle Obama delivered a passionate speech at the Democratic National Convention, where she touched on various issues close to her heart. One of the most talked about moments was when she referenced her parents' teachings, how they were suspicious of folks who took more than they needed. This message resonated with many, especially her praise for her mother, who volunteered at the local school to make a difference in her community. But not everyone was on board with this sentiment. Critics quickly pointed out that Michelle Obama is, after all, worth over $70 million with three luxurious homes, including a stunning 28-acre estate on Martha's Vineyard. Social media exploded with reactions, some of them harsh, accusing her of hypocrisy. The irony wasn't lost on the internet. One user sarcastically wrote, Yeah, Michelle Obama lost me when she said my parents taught me not to trust wealthy people and she's worth 70 million. This election is comedy. Another user took a jab at the entire Democratic National Convention lineup, highlighting the significant wealth of its key speakers, including Michelle, Governor J.B. Pritzker, and Jack Schlossberg, grandson of JFK. The underlying question on everyone's mind was, how can someone worth millions preach about not taking more than you need? Now, let's pause for a moment. Is the criticism fair? On one hand, yes, there's undeniable irony in a wealthy individual lecturing others about not taking too much. But on the other hand, Michelle Obama's message might be more about values than about personal finances. She's been a strong advocate for community, equity, and giving back, and her remarks could be seen as a call to balance personal success with social responsibility. However, when you're living in a multi-million dollar estate, it's easy to see why people might find it hard to reconcile those words with that lifestyle. The Obama's wealth isn't exactly a secret. In fact, their journey from the White House to a life of prosperity has been well documented. After leaving office, the couple inked multi-million dollar deals for book publications, speaking engagements, and media productions. This isn't unusual for former presidents and first ladies, just think of the Clintons or the Bush family. But in an era where wealth inequality is a growing concern, public figures with vast fortunes are often under scrutiny, especially when they speak about topics like fairness and economic justice. Michelle Obama isn't the first and won't be the last public figure to face accusations of hypocrisy. But what makes this situation stand out is her unique position as one of the most admired figures in the Democratic Party. She's beloved by many, and there's even been speculation that she could be a strong presidential candidate if she ever chose to run. Her words carry weight, and that's precisely why this controversy has garnered so much attention. But here's the thing, Michelle Obama has always been about more than just words. During her time as First Lady, she championed initiatives like Let's Move to Combat Childhood Obesity and Reach Higher to encourage young people to pursue higher education. These weren't just speeches, they were programs with real impact. Does that make her immune to criticism? Of course not! But it adds another layer to the conversation. At the end of the day, this controversy brings up important questions about wealth, privilege, and leadership. Can you be wealthy and still advocate for fairness and equality? Or does your wealth disqualify you from speaking on those issues? These are the questions we're left with after Michelle Obama's latest speech. One thing is clear, her influence isn't fading anytime soon, and whether you agree with her or not, she continues to be a powerful voice in American politics. What do you think? Is the backlash fair, or is it an overreaction? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive. Thanks for watching The Fame Journey, where we bring you the stories that matter most.